Hello, my fellow gamers. This is your Point and Critic Gamer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sherlock Holmes The Awaken. Now, I had a little bit of trouble when I was recording this, so this is sort of a second attempt, unfortunately, so I may not be fully blind on this, but hey, um, I will be able to make sure to get anything that I saw that was funny or so and try to recap it or or whatever. Well, anyway, if you recall, I am now Watson, and I'm at this asylum. Apparently, I'm the only one here, because, well, that's just my carriage, and no one else is here. Let's be enter the place. I gotta love how the doors just how magically open by Good themselves. Day, I am Dr. Watson. Mm -hmm. I have just come from London, and... You must see Fraulein Muller. Please, if you could. She is over there. All right, let's go. She was so impatient to receive your visit. So... She has made remarkable progress. But the doctor mm. can explain everything far better than I. Look, here she is now. So, turns out I'm not the only one who's he My here visiting. Daughter. Turns out this couple's visiting their daughter. How the hell did they get here? Did they walk all the way? Like I said earlier, I there was only my carriage out there. Where the hell was theirs? It's gotta be... That's gotta be a long-ass walk for them. Or did the carriage driver decide, you know what, I'm not gonna wait here, I'm just gonna go. Alright, well, let's talk to this woman. Let's turn on spin. Let's talk. Good day, miss. I am Dr. Watson. I believe you have word of my visit. Indeed, mm -hmm. Doctor. Your letter said you wished to speak with Dr. Gijax. I will Gijax. see if he's ready to receive you. Thank you, miss. All right. Let's wait a few seconds. Yep. Good morning, Dr. Watson. Uh -huh. I must say, I viewed your letter with both astonishment and pride. You want to know more about our methods of treatment in order to compare them with those applied in your country. Indeed, Doctor. I am sure that we British could learn a great deal from our colleagues on the continent. You are quite right, my dear Doctor. But this professional consultation could have been managed with greater efficiency <coughs> and ease by correspondence. Him? I'm sure you can understand my time, as is yours. I think your ID method valuable. is just strong, strong tell, um, what shock therapy. Brought you to I the bet that's your aid advice, idea. <laughs> Dr. Watson. It is quite simple. Through some mm -hmm. random events, I encountered a man who was a former patient oh, of yours. The doors the magically open. Suggested that he was suffering and magically from closed. disorders as Good morning. I am Either Angus that or apparently North that North technology Agency was invented at that time period. Is something wrong, Doctor? Upon my word, this man who claims to be from the Northwood Agency is an obvious fraud. The true Amos Conway yeah. died and was buried just a few days ago in London. Yeah, it's Sherlock Holmes. I must now tell you everything. I am here because one of the staff is engaged in a dangerous trade between this institution mm -hmm. and parties in England. Moreover, those activities are tied to a murderous sect, which... And you think that this man could be one of them? Uh -huh. Indeed. It is entirely within reason that he is here to eliminate any traces of their criminal enterprise, if you see my meaning. I see, I Indeed, see. I do, Doctor. Let me show you out. Mm. All right. I, I, I trust that... <laughs> Please Doors return still at the same have this magical tomorrow. power to open by themselves. I promise. I will be entirely at your disposal, mm. but I entreat you, mm -hmm. please maintain complete discretion on these matters. May mm. I depend on your cooperation? Most assuredly, mm. but... Yep. Okay, out. Out, sir. Out, out, out. You don't want to see what we're going to do to this guy. Good morning, sir. Yep. How may I be of assistance? You can start by telling your men to all take <laughs> a few steps back. Then we can have a nice, friendly... Very interesting. We have indications of a personality breakdown and related paranoia. <laughs> okay. I must ask you to come with me to the examination room so we can reveal your deeper problems. <laughs> but don't have any problems. <laughs> uh, this is my screaming dance. Along with a faint. Do not worry, 
It's nothing serious. Yeah, I have to question the doctor's methods back in the day. I mean, I don't know how bad they are today now, but back then they probably were a bitch. Just throwing people in the cages and let's just decide to do crazy torture to convince them. Stand where you are. All right, well, he's not looking, so I can do this. I can... I need something. I can take... This and the syringe. If I fill it with water, the doctor will have only a harmless injection to use. Well, you know what? Oh, wait, well, hold on. And there, there we go. It is done. Hey, there. All right. I just stay perfectly still. Several drops alone will be enough to sedate a horse. Yep. There. <laughs> That's excellent. Good. <laughs> Throw him into the holding chamber. <laughs> he just like wham, stabs the girl with it. I feel more comfortable without this costume. <laughs> However, I am here and in proper place due to Watson's right. singular assistance. Yep. I must remember to thank him later. Let's hope he will act according to our plan. Yep. My next move is to learn if the London <laughs> kidnapper has some accomplice here. All right. Well, let's uh, make sure the we look like we're soon. hiding. I must make it appear as if I'm still here. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I'm still here. You know, I actually have to mention that there's this funny little glitch I actually discovered. Uh, turns out that if I don't uh, fill up that syringe with water, I get... It won't be necessary. Actually, like, uh, sedated or so with the chemicals or, like, uh, the sedative. And um, I'm, like, we'll be standing here, like, in a fuzz and I have to wait for the thing to uh, wear off. But what's funny is that apparently during that moment... The floor, if you move the camera properly, the floor disappears. And in fact, if you move it just right, you can actually have this guy laying here with no head. I'm dead serious. I saw it on my first attempt in this uh, when I was recording this. And I feel kind of like bad that I like I decided to not um, try it again a second time to just for the recording. But who knows? Maybe I'll um, go back here and re-record it for maybe like just for... A fun vi little video, maybe after this entire let's play is over. But in any case, um, I mostly have taken care of, care of the real thing, which was I put water in the uh, syringe, it should complete the <laughs> which the doctor stabbed me long, with. I can't be sure. Yeah, it looks really convincing. <laughs> well, anyway, now we need to escape. This uh, puzzle, to save us time, I'm going to just do this by looking at the walkthrough. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not really that hard. Not the greatest lock. Come on, drunky! You're free! You're free! Alright, let's go. Alright. I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm, and I must uh -huh. find some means of neutralizing him. Perhaps I could put him to sleep somehow. Yep. All right, well... Hold on. <laughs> Look at that creepy doll. An old puppet. Almost as welcoming as Fraulein Muller. Huh. <laughs> Fraulein Muller. All right. I also mentioned that... Um, in the original version of this game, you actually had a crouch button, and you were supposed to sneak by in this lab. Like, if you walked any closer or moved any further, you would have been spotted instantly. I guess they removed that mechanic, apparently. I don't know fully why. Maybe it was, like, it's not that fully used in the original game. And now they replaced the, the control button, which was originally for a crouch, to switch to third person to first person. So, yeah, I guess they just removed that completely. I encourage all personnel to read Dr. Blensmoth's book. When you finish with it, please leave mm -hmm. it here for your colleagues, Dr. Gijax. Okay. Oh. Hey, you! Oh. Huh? What are you doing out there? Huh? 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 You, you are not a nurse? <laughs> Come on, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm very sorry, my friend. I can't you, help you as I'm just... You gotta like how his hands literally go friend. through mm, the bars. I, I mean, look at that. It just... They just I glide through promise it. You won't get very far if you don't set me free. Mm. Mm. My cries will bring the entire hospital on your trail. Mm. Okay. 
Well, my friend, I, I mean Maurizio, it looks like you have logic on your side, <laughs> but I don't have the key to your cell. Why do you need the key? It's quite solidly built. You're apparently a what ghost, you considering you can dilemma. phase through those bars. Just walk right through the door. But the lock is worthless. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a room at the end of the corridor where the repairman from the mainland stores his supplies. <laughs> I am positive there is a crowbar uh -huh. inside. <laughs> The key is hidden in a crack near the door. <laughs> As he's afraid of losing it. <laughs> Are you part ape? Me oh. you get the <laughs> and could I have a banana? <laughs> okay, I know that sounds more uh, that's more monkey than ape, but you get the idea. All right. Attention. Reconstruction and installation of water pipe. Dangerous. Do not enter. Uh, we shall definitely enter. Yep, and luckily we know where the key is. Right here? Closed. Tight. It was selected. Okay, hold on. There we go. Alright, there's a crowbar. Um, oh, you know, I actually found out this interesting thing. Not only does Space Park skips cutscenes and uh, dialogue trees or something... But you can also press the space bar to reveal objects. See? It highlights them. Um, oh. Alright, I'm going to need that. Um, here's something that... Now, I have to mention, this is pretty silly. The diameter of this pipe is 16 millimeters. Yep. So now I'm going to select that one. I have to, like, select one of these pipes. Because get, get this, get this. Do you remember that guard that's in that laboratory? Get this. How I sedate him well, is this. First, I uh, take, let's see, this is a 16, so I take the 15 syringe, I fill it with a sedative, and combine it with the pipe, and I got myself a blow pipe! Yeah! Apparently, uh, I'm going to blow pipe the guy. Knock the guy out with the blow pipe. Bring me the crowbar, or I'll scream and bring the entire hospital down on you. <laughs> Uh, shut up, but, uh, you know what? I have it already, so might as well give it to the crazy guy. Here you go, buddy! <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> and uh, here you are. Yep. Greetings. Careful. You best not linger here. My Take precious. Me. My precious. Oh, you down below. <laughs> Into the depths. <laughs> Into hell. Or heaven? No, it's hell. No, it's heaven. Hell. What's he doing there? Stop him, quickly. Stand where you are. <laughs> Took me a while to realize he does sound a bit like Gollum in some ways. Ah! Ah! It seems oh. that Maurizio Gee. finally attracted some attention. Excellent. Now the stairs are clear and I may return upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see... Blue pipe, blue pipe, blue pipe. There we go. I must hide and avoid the. Yep. All right. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm walking just to be safe. Up. Oh, there we go. Bullseye. <laughs> well done. Yeah, knock you out, your sorry little ass. Strange. Mm -hmm. These appear to be pink crystals. I see. This box contains bottles labeled Black Edelweiss, which are identical to those found in the London sect hideouts. As I suspected, they most mm -hmm. definitely came from here. I will take one. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. Some booklet about some crap. Probably medical stuff. Dr. Blensmoth's book, Mind, Its Strength, and Its Secrets. Mm -hmm. hmm. Promising title. All right. This book appears to be an inventory ledger. However, it is in code, and I don't have the time to properly decipher it. I see Dr. Gijax's mm -hmm. signature at the bottom of each page. Interesting. This book must detail his shipments to England. All right. Okay. All right. This letter is dated two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Not that long. Alright, let's uh, go... There's... Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way, but hold on, I think I've... Oh, yep! Get this, get ready! 
<laughs> Apparently, I can walk around with an anvil. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Apparently, Sherlock Holmes is the Hulk because he can carry a freaking anvil and run. Well, not even walk, run with it. Oh, look, spare keys. Closed tight. Uh, spoon. Are ready for the spoon. I would have thought spoons were good to pick as locks. As I keep my distance, I now appear as if I am a male nurse. All right. Hmm. Nurse, make him stop. He must stop that. What is the problem, madam? Mm. Bauer must stop at once. <laughs> <laughs> The birds have not been fed for two days. <laughs> Bauer must have taken the scene. Wait. Did they just gave... Did they give this guy the seeds to the birds? Why? Wouldn't a doctor or a nurse be the one carrying the seeds? Although, why would they have a big bird cage? Seriously, why would they need a big bird cage? Run there, run everywhere, men in white. Run, run, run. Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess he's giving me a bit of a hint. They won't see me, the men in white. Chase the little birds far, far away from here. Mm -hmm. Then I will go where I like. Go here, go there, go everywhere. <laughs> okay. Extraordinary. These are all bird variants that can speak. All right, well, I guess one thing is I need to get the birds out. I'm going to fill this water. There's a good reason why. But, um, I can't do anything just yet. I, the, those, uh, that rack of keys don't work. Again, like I said, I did try to record a bit of this before I had to, before some problems happened and I had to restart this recording. It's kind of annoying when you have to, when you, did a part of a game and then you realize you have to restart the, the part again. But, eh, that's what I get for trying to do this. Okay, so there's a guard here. I must be careful to yep. avoid attention. Alright, so I'm gonna just walk for a moment. This is apparently. Yep. Ooh. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses so I may quietly move about this floor and speak with the patients. Well, I'm able to decide to this guy. Who. Who are you? You are not the nurse. Nope, Give them no, no, I'm not. I beg you. What do you need? Small pink crystals, please. In the laboratory. Well, that's convenient. I have what you're looking for. Here is your medicine. Now, please, if I could just ask you a few questions. They must be dissolved in water. Water? Ah. Yes, there is some in the garden. Well... I don't any, luckily, I already got a pot full of water. Here we go. Here it is, my friend. You must tell me where. Make the male nurse leave, and I will tell you anything you want. All right. Where is the key to the aviary? Mm -hmm. The mad girl. Bring her doll to her. She knows. All right. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses, so I may quietly move about this floor and speak with the patients. All right. Well, now I took care of that. All right. Right across here. Uh, keys on this door. There we go. Nope. You're not a crazy woman. You look like a crazy woman. Excuse me, miss. Go away, you swine. Leave, or I'll make you bleed. <laughs> Okay, well, before I go, would you want your freaking doll back? Look who is here to see you, miss. Uh-huh. Heidi. Heidi, you are here. Yep. The bad men took you away. Apparently, you the doll popped back. out of there. Heidi told me she wanted to come back to you. She also told me that you know how to free the kind birds from their cage. Yeah. Bad men took Heidi away. They said I was a bad girl because I cut off the head of that nasty brute. But what? he started it. 
He was bad first. What the he did hell? Terrible things, this bad man. Oh yes. He came in the night for us. He hmm. took Heidi and I to his room near the uh. birds. And he was very, very nasty with me. Oh, God. He had the key to the bird's house and said if I wasn't a good girl, he would send them away. I didn't like that. Oh, dear Lord. Because Heidi loves the birds. <laughs> so, my child, the key to the birdhouse is upstairs in his room? Yes, it's there. Now oh. the lady lives there. But I am not allowed to see the birds anymore. Oh. Thank you very much. A brood tries to rape her and she cuts off idea? his head. Oh, and God. Thank the <laughs> That's some creepy Can looking doll. A present for him. What In exchange for his soul. Are. Oh, I agree. Heidi wants to thank you and says to tell you. A secret. Oh, what's when this? When I cut the bad man's head, she didn't want him to ever come back. So, so I ripped his balls off. In her belly. <laughs> so I keep the key in his be in her belly. You know, I'm the great show. <laughs> and a humble thanks to you, Heidi. Heidi, child. Of the mountains. Okay, see you, crazy bitch. I do not want to get near you ever. Okay, so. But wait a minute, I'm the, I'm the amazing Sherlock Holmes. Wouldn't I be able to just tell if I if there was key in a in a doll? You know, know some little weight, maybe a little metal in there. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what the other fast travel. Uh, this is the assignment part. Okay, good. Thank God for this fast travel. All right, um, this looks like the room, so let's use that key. Okay, now here's something silly. Look at that. Does this look like this looks like nothing, right? Turns out there's there's a bottle in here. A lovely piece. I must say it's the highlight of this exhibition, but I dare say it shall prove useful. Yeah. Okay, I got my hands on that. Ah, and there's a bottle. This splendid macrame design is protecting the bottle. Yep. Okay, here's something crazy. I think it was a glitch when I originally played. This is why I had to re part of it was restarting it. Apparently, I needed to find the bottle, but the bottle wasn't here. And apparently, when I clicked on this thing, thing, which actually, you know, you can see I, um, hold on, in the inventory. See this thing I have here? Apparently, when I clicked on this thing, it turned out to be the bottle. What the hell? I'm wondering if that was a, it must have been a glitch. Because I didn't have the bottle in my inventory when I was in here, and the bottle wasn't there. So, I don't know what the hell happened, but that's... That's what happened. Apparently, <laughs> the bottle was gone, and apparently it confused that coaster thing as the bottle holder. And apparently, this trash tin doesn't have a bottom. But whatever. At least now I got the bottle in my inventory and the coaster thing. Whatever. Pot holder. Uh, another note. Some spectacles. Macrame. A healthy occupation for modern women by Calipigi Mumbala Smith Papadopoulos. And look at this. It is a signed edition. Hmm. But yeah, it's just so weird that that, that happened. Um, uh, I thought I can open that. Um. This must be the key to the aviary. Oh, well, that's good. But yeah, I can't get by that. The, the problem with the problem with my first recording was I I couldn't find the freaking coat pot holder and apparently that th pot holder was actually the pot holder but it, for some reason it was the bottle in my last playthrough for some reason I don't know how did I else describe it that's just so weird well whatever at least now I have it um I'm gonna take care of this first fill it up with water I'm gonna need it later um. 
Gonna use the key. You're free, birds! You're free! Fly away! Fly away! The door to the bird cage is open! Yep. Help us! Why did we need the birds anyway? I'm still questioning, why did we need the birds? Like, why does this asylum need all these birds? The birds have escaped! Quick! Catch them! <laughs> Alright. Catch them! Thanks to the panic, all the nurses will be elsewhere, as Bao Yay! Said. <laughs> While uh, the guards are yep. busy trying to catch the birds, I should use the opportunity to search the rest of the yep. asylum. Alright. Following the unintentional fire caused by uninspired staff mm -hmm. members, I made the decision to forbid access to the kitchen and dining room to all staff, other than Frau Meyer and myself. Okay. Oh, oh God, oh God, stop. Don't, don't, don't say, don't, don't say. It is necessary to get this dragon to leave. <laughs> really examine the kitchen. Perhaps if I can create smoke, she will go into a panic and leave, thinking there is a fire. All right. Well, let's. I don't know why, but I haven't been using the map too much. Let's head to the laboratory because apparently I have what I need. I believe. Well, mostly the rest is in this laboratory. Uh, over here. Here now, I must take care to measure the precise dose. Yeah, apparently this thing, this container has um, some kind of chemical. I don't know why you didn't read it. Maybe it's just because I didn't. I used the equip, but all right. The ratio of chlorine to water must be precise, as too much will be dangerous. All right, um, this part's pretty easy. Uh, we just go to the scale and just measure both things. Here's the bottle with adequate water. I must calculate its. Yeah. Now, now I know the exact capacity of the bottle. Good. And now this. And oh. there, it is done. Okay. Uh, combined with that. There My smoking device is ready. I must yep. say, a room filled with smoke shall be difficult to examine, but there is no other way. All right. Um, and let's head to where is it? There we go. Kitchen. Here, have a smoke bomb. I think no guards decides to go in here. And uh, wait a minute. I was standing out of the front door. Wouldn't she see me when she ran out? This, where else would she went? Did she jump out the windows? <laughs> and apparently close them? Yeah. Alright. A truss for roast beef. Oh, I got a rope along with the note. Yeah, that that's kind of interesting. Alright. And yeah, apparently that's all I needed because, <laughs> really, honestly, that's all I needed. Oh wait, I don't need. I gotta remember, I have a fast traveling system. I have the magical power of teleportation. Well, let's see. Is it this way? Ah, uh, yep. Hello again. Oh, I'm gonna need that. In a second. So yeah, apparently I can carry around an anvil and a cart. Hey, doctor, is that an anvil in your pocket, or you're just happy to see me? Okay. <laughs> the attendant is gone. Yep. Ah, I'm very glad. But you are not an attendant? No, no, no I'm not. I'm not. I arrived from London to investigate private charges of embezzlement against this establishment. You came all the way from London? Why would anyone choose to come to this godforsaken place? <laughs> Indeed. Well, I I'm a detective, and apparently and I have to find these clear. awful me. places. I know you do not belong here. You are not mad. Merely the victim of a trap that only the most expert specialists mm -hmm. could untangle. More importantly, you are the only person here who can give me the information I require. If you could speak with me, assuming your pain has not returned, I would be in your debt. Uh -huh. But who are you? 
Someone who could guarantee your freedom once my objectives are secured. Yep. But I have little time, and you must listen to me carefully. Did you hear the staff or other inmates speak on any suspicious mm. activities other than the horrible mistreatment you have all suffered at the hands of the staff? Yeah. You are from English customs, then? You must be interested in the arrival of illegal foreign lunatics in your country. What yeah. makes you say this? I guess. Well, some time ago... They removed all the foreigners from their cells, and they were never seen or heard from again. Perhaps they were shipped into your country without the usual formalities. Wow, those pink those crystals must have had a great effect on Makes them not crazy. I don't know exactly, because oddly, they never associated with the rest of the inmates. They arrived regularly. Is he supposed to be in a straitjacket or, or not? two fellows per month. Most peculiar. Did they speak among themselves? I could hear them trying to talk to one another, but it seemed as if they couldn't understand each other. Oh, so they all had different languages, spoke maybe. A different dialect. Or a different language, also, maybe? None of them seemed mad in the least. Hmm. And then. That's strange. There was one other odd event. They were downstairs, and it was shortly before their departure. I strained to hear them, and could barely make out their conversation. Mm -hmm. This time. They all seem to speak the same language. And what is even stranger, they seem to be saying the same thing repeatedly. Must have been a ritual. You must rest now, but don't lose hope, as I am here to help. Uh, I am afraid I must leave you now. If you need to know other information, you can see me when you like. Alright, well we took care of that. Okay, here we are. This part was a bitch, but you know what? The problem was that glitch I said. Again, I needed... This pot holder, but again, for some reason, it was the bottle. It turned into the bottle instead in the original play. I don't know what the hell was that about, but all right. This is meant to be used by two people, and here I am alone. Mm -hmm. What should be done? Well, now I know I what to, create to do. A system to use this lever in distance. Yep. All right. Well, here we go. Hold on. First, we put the cart down. Then we attach the. Oh, string. Good. Um, then I think we put the pot over there. And then we shove the anvil. Okay. Bullshit. Bull bullshit. That anvil was much larger in the original room. There's. Did I just shrunk it? What the hell? Alright, well now thankfully, since I took care of that, and luckily the glitch didn't happen again, I can now interact with this. And voila! Now I can get it. It is done. Yep. All right. Yay! We took care of it. Now we're going down into the basement. <laughs> oh, that's spooky! All the lanterns and everything. Can I touch this guy? Three times three is nine. Two times five is ten. Pardon me, sir. Could mm -hmm. I trouble you for some information? Nasty, nasty cheat. I shall say nothing to you. Three okay. times seven is twenty-one. Three times eight is twenty-four. I shall speak only to Professor Schwartz. He Schwartz. understands that I have learned all my lessons. Three times okay. nine is twenty-seven. Apparently he will speak only with this professor. All right, well, I need to Perhaps find him. The medical files on this man, Wolf, will be helpful. Yep. Wolf, uh... <laughs> God. They light all these lanterns and everything. It's not even a good area. Can't talk to him. Kevin Brin? This door is quite solidly built, but the lock is rudimentary. Never again will I go out on a case without a small spoon at my side. Yeah. Uh, likely, Watson would envy me this valuable implement. Yep. Well, there's bloody footprints. There should be a passageway leading from one side to the other of this wall. Perhaps someone here knows something about it. Hmm. All right. Um, let's use that spoon. All right, we got this puzzle again. And just to do this very simply, I'm going to try to do the walkthrough. 
to make sure to let this go pretty fast. Okay. Uh, hold on. Now I'm trying my best to pay attention. Nine. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, open, ten, open sesame, yay! Whoa! What the hell happened here? This well must empty directly into an underground river. Ooh! There's a lake! My god, there is a body inside. I'm glad I spared Watson this horror. This place conceals deeds far more sinister than the mere traffic in dangerous goods. Yeah, apparently this place not only is where it's traffic good, but anyone who is in question may toss it down the well. Nope, I, I already saw that! There's a body inside. I'm glad I spared what. Well, I'm uh, guessing... These are the tools of a butcher. Yep. Oh, a key. Who could have forgotten this? Maybe they... Hey, uh, lay... Hey, uh, is this your key? Is it? No? Uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> um, let's go down this way. There we go. Oh, look, we're in the, we're in the office room. Closed. Tight. I can't wait. Closed. Tight. There's a small label that says classroom. Hmm. Alright. Uh, do you have something first there? Uh, William Blop. Alright. Bit deal, but good will do money stone. A cable from New Orleans sent in the last few weeks. If the shipment of these goods from New Orleans relies upon a transfer of funds from Europe, it is possible the actual exchange won't take place for a few weeks. There may still be time to intervene. Uh, okay. I don't know what this guy Jack's studied, but judging by his office and what I saw before, he is more dangerous than any of his patients. Yeah. The Worship of Ghouls by Count Derlet. I do not think this book would give the reader pleasant dreams if reserved for bedtime reading. Yeah. This guy is working up with the cult to raise the spirit of Cthulhu! Well, not spirit. Or, or is Cthulhu a spirit? I mean, it's a... Maybe it's a spirit. I never really paid too much attention to the full lord. tight. Can I use the key on that? Key, key. Closed. No. Nope. Tight. Okay. I can pick this lock. Oh. Oh. Uh. This lock is too complex for this tool. The poker? Maybe the poker works. Oh, oh. oh my god. Man. You know what? These birds are from the aviary. No. They served a purpose beyond mere decoration. Why? Not the bird! Not the bird! And why is it a different color than the birds in the cage? Trail of blood. A notebook detailing the experiments conducted by Mr. Gijax. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't read any of it. Probably means some important stuff, but... You know me, I never really bother. What's this? A battery with a crank starter. No doubt used to stimulate his patients. Oh, so they did do electric torture. I feel great pity for the patients who must have or been shock therapy. this machine. The faint signs remaining on this blackboard are in phonetics. It appears that people were forced to recite some text with no real understanding of its meaning. It's a pity that the text was erased. Hmm. Maybe it's, uh, more of those Cthulhu symbols. Alright, um, there's a wall here. Am I missing anything? I've got everything in this room. 
Oh, what are these? I haven't examined everything yet. Okay. Um. Wolf. This man seems to suffer from every possible mental affliction. Judging by the date of his admission, he must be one of the oldest patients here. Oh. The former hospital director researched his case and mentions Wolf's professor. Apparently, he was the only person of influence with the poor fellow. There is even a portrait of the late professor included in with the reports. Okay, so he had a beard and glasses. Hmm, so... So this is Professor Schwartz. So where am I gonna get a beard? Can I? I haven't examined everything yet. Do I need to look at these files again? Yes. I need a name to continue my research. All right. Um. Oh wait, can I use the? There we go. I can use the poker. Letters found by Dr. Bonson. Blah blah blah. Unbelievable. These letters are from various Swiss banks and show that the doctor made several sales of precious stones over these last months mm. and each time for higher profit. He must have access to a real treasure. I see numerous transfers were made to an account holder in the Bank of London and another in a bank here in New Orleans. I must take note of these transactions. All right, that's good. And to Professor Gray, blah, 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 and send one. It's like a kid wrote it. Hold on. There is an oily stain on this letter. It smells of iodine. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, so I took care of that. Could I fiddle with those things? Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. Um. Now it can't be used for anything. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe that guy could help me. Could I go back here? I cannot do this. Oh, that's the stairs. Yeah. Damn, I, I could sometimes the way they do this. <laughs> What's kind of the reason for this door mechanism to work this way? Well, anyway, you can help me. Come on, help me out. I believe I'm close to finding what I need. Do you know this man downstairs, the one perpetually reciting his multiplication tables? Yes, he is Wolf. But you will get nothing from him. He will only speak with one man, mm -hmm. this Professor Schwartz. But I believe he died a long time ago. Perhaps right. the medical files on this man Wolf will be helpful. Alright. Well, I got a key to, uh, to something called a classroom. Is this a classroom? No. Uh. Maybe I'm, maybe it's not down here. Maybe it's, a. Uh, it's upstairs. It's gotta be in there. Hey, see ya. Uh, Impossible. There we go. All right, so this is a classroom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the torture chair. Uh, basic math. More crazy letters. Who is this anonymous patient? Perhaps there is a mm -hmm. file on him, as with the other patients. Well, I guess I'm going to be looking for that name soon. This should <laughs> prove useful. Oh. And now time to become the good Professor Schwartz and pay a visit to Wolf. Let me make sure I have everything. All right. Uh, let's go back to the... Back to here. Second, let's look at the names. Uh, question mark. Ah, here's the file I was seeking. It can only be our mysterious patient. What a strange character. All right. 
Okay. Now let's teleport to Wolf. Wait. Oh, hole. Let's just go over here. Two times six is twelve. Two times seven is fourteen. Thank you. Three times eight is. Oh, what is it? Oh, yes. Twenty-four. <laughs> five times five uh, is. Apparently, he will only. Sp I guess maybe. Let me interact with the beard. Two times nope. six. Apparently, he will only okay. speak with one particular person. Um. Maybe I need a. Maybe I need to use the uh, combine this with the spectacles. There we go. Okay. There we go. So well, <laughs> that's convincing. You mastered your lesson. Splendid. <laughs> P -p Professor Schwartz. Well, it's a good thing this guy's insane because that's not convincing. Say he doesn't look anything like the guy in the photograph. Most unhappy with their behavior because it seems they have been cheating. Mm -hmm. Professor Schwartz, you saw them, didn't you? I know my lessons. I always work so hard, and the others, they crib from me. I know, my boy, I know. But their leader, he is a doctor, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes, Professor, yes. He is the most vile member of the group. Sometimes he tries to keep me from my lessons. He says he will treat me like the others who don't speak like us and who scream so very loud when he punishes them. But I keep to my lessons and recite my tables all the day. He okay. can't stop me. That's good, my boy. You have made me proud. <laughs> now, I need your help. Where do they meet? I must find them and make sure they get the punishment they so rightly deserve. Yeah. They meet over there, but it is well hidden, and only the doctor has the code. First, he makes noise with the fire near his office. Right. Afterwards, he makes noise with the fire in front of me. And then he makes noise behind me. You will see he does not know his lessons. Okay. Thank you, Wolf. That's a clever boy. You have earned high marks this term, but for now, you must try to recite your lessons in silence. Since I am the professor, I know and see everything. There is never a need to shout. As you say, Professor Schwartz. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Well, that's a good convincing thing. All right, so it tells me there's some method, which means apparently there's this, uh... Is this his office? Nope, that's the hole. Never mind. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, here's the office, which means... I think I'm supposed to be able to fiddle with something. Ah, here it is. All right, that. Um, now he says in front of him. So that will be this thing. It's kind of easy to tell considering it's not as bright. And one behind him. Um, that's not it. Uh, can't be. There we go. It works. Simplicity itself. <sighs> Crazy Rick. Oh, what the hell? Oh, we got a crazy hermit. <laughs> What the? My apologies, but I do not understand what you are trying to say. If I may introduce myself, I am. Who you are means nothing. I'm guessing he's blind. All that matters is your reverence to uh -huh. the one. You came to invoke the uh, great lord with the speaking, and now I ask you... The one. Who am I? He's referring to... mortal. He's referring to... <laughs> the one. One. I think he's referring to Cthulhu. Well, anyway, he's asking who am I. Um. Well, I'm looking at the wafer just to get this quickly. Light... Of uh, abyss. Hello. Even your pitiful mind can find enlightenment 
before serving us food for the servants of chaos. Where are all those poor souls kidnapped in London? And what about the others who pass through here in their travels? Your search is in vain. You are nothing to the great lord. Soon he will heed our call, when those titans will be reassembled for the awakening of their king. The sleeping lord shall walk the earth. You and your kind will tear mm -hmm. your flesh when you learn how your lives insult the great lord and master. <laughs> You will plead for the abyss, as okay. have all those before you who fed the Great One. Those who give their weak flesh to our Lord cry for his return. So shall you. What's... He has lain dreaming, silent, hungry, awaiting his followers. Tremble um... in awe. Behold, the Great One returns! Oh, uh, looks like I gotta get out of here. He makes so much noise. I better be on my way before he attracts the entire staff. Okay. Well, luckily I know what to do. I'm looking at... I have the waffle at the ready. It turn, and if you read a note, I'm supposed to... One. Two. Three, four. That worked. Yay! Who? That's close. Did they have elevators back then? Man. All right. Okay. Ooh. Better be careful. Don't mess this up. Hmm. Now let's see. Can I, uh... Can I interrupt that door? Oh, there's a guard standing there. I must be careful to avoid attention. Can't talk to him. Closed. Tight. Looks like I might have to go for this door. Impossible. Hmm. There's gotta be something. Oh, wait. Do I... Can I use the spoon? Closed. Tight. Uh, what about this one? This lock is too complex for this tool. Damn it. Wait, do I have the poker? Impossible. Come on! Closed. Tight. Come on! Uh, oh wait. Maybe I need to get. Yeah, I think I know. Pardon me, sir. I need your help. He doesn't <laughs> seem to hear me. Uh, M Moriarty. Moriarty, my worst what? enemy, and a man who was presumed dead. Who could think this demon could have survived such a great fall at Reichenbach? He seems a shadow of his former self. There well, is no doubt he has truly lost his memory and therefore cannot be a part of these events. Well, that's a surprise twist. Apparently my arch enemy Moriarty is right here. Hi, Moriarty! Ernie, you know what you need deserve? So kick in the balls! Huh! Huh! Alright, so apparently Moriarty is alive, which I guess it was from the previous games or something, and apparently he's been here this whole time, just with no memory. Uh, now what? Okay, um, let's see. Okay. Um, oh, I can't talk to him. Oh, the guards are coming. Better hurry. Find this outsider as quickly as possible and bring him to the treatment room. I shall take care of his memory. Ooh. Professor, do you hear that voice? 
This man who is speaking to two others, a man of great intellect and ability, who is approaching and is even now right behind that door. Oh. You know him, Professor. Come now, Professor. You can't have forgotten so easily. Oh. So I'm trying to express <laughs> Let me remind you, Professor. I am going to reveal his identity. I will tell you his name. You know him well, Professor. He is... Sherlock Holmes. Ah! <laughs> Stand where you are! <laughs> Okay. Well, that worked. <laughs> I just convinced Moriarty that the doctor upstairs was me. Well, it's a good thing I came across him in time. Um. <laughs> but that's kind of crazy that I came across Moriarty. Okay. Let's see. At last, the laundry. First yep. of all, I must prepare my Amos disguise. Yep. Uh, hemp. Oh, oh. It oh. is the imposter. He oh. is here. I'll sort you out, buddy. Come here. Well, what luck? The doctor is not here. Well, yeah. We the, had the... internal concerns arise today. Well, of course. Her director is engaged anyone... in urgent hospital matters and cannot be disturbed. Did anyone notice that weird clipping well. from the? We will take this troublesome yep. wretch along with us. <laughs> oh, that, thank Tomorrow, goodness! The doctor and I will be able to discuss our other matter. Oh, well, that's good. First of all, my friend, you should know that you have been dealing with two famous professionals. <laughs> Your deceit has failed, and you should know that it is impossible to confound us. Who are you? And why have you come here? <laughs> what is your opinion, Watson? Uh, Holmes. Oh yeah, I love. What are you doing here? <laughs> I guess and it... you were as white as a sheet. It seems as though you met a ghost. Well, it's met, uh... quite possible, Watson. <laughs> yeah, quite possible. Yeah, you wanted a crowbar to get out. <laughs> so it was a, but yeah, the crazy hermit. You should have told me about your plans, Holmes. Yep. Definitely not, Watson. You would have acted in an unnatural manner and done everything to persuade me against my course of action. Ah. You can be sure of that. Good God, Holmes, think of the risk you took. Yep. Indeed, Watson, and I hesitate to reveal my further plans. They are likely to be far more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Will you explain? Even though I know the crux of this affair began in Europe, and even perhaps in England, we have no elements indicating the when, the where, and the how. Our only lead would have us travel to a continent, not our own. One that is wild and untamed in many ways. I assume that you now know the name of our next destination. Hmm. Not really, but... I'm gonna actually just type it in. New... Or... Things. Thank you, walkthroughs. Not to bother news in my brain. You are quite correct, Watson. Yep. New Orleans, Louisiana, located in the wilds of America. Our nemesis mm -hmm. has a group of his men there, and we must arrive in time to stop them. We must make haste to La Havre and book ship's passage immediately. I took precautions yep. before our departure from Switzerland, but it is imperative we maintain the utmost secrecy regarding both our true identities and our destination. Mm -hmm. We are dealing with a cunning and powerful adversary, Watson. Quite powerful. I see. Oh. Uh, are you, you selling chocolates? Assistance, young man. I brought you chocolates. They'll be hot five hundred dollars. If not, I will hurt you. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I guess I ordered a box of chocolates already. I don't know. So what's in the? Oh, it's a puzzle box. Ooh. Oh. Ah, yes, young man. As a Mr. Ho, um, 
the big detective, it is often necessary to use all of one's little grey cells to solve great mysteries. Hercule! Hercule! Where are you? Oh, here you are. Naughty boy, come along now. So, Madame Poirot, your stop is coming soon. An agent will assist you with your luggage. Okay. So apparently just the kid just came by with a puzzle box just going, um... Uh, Excuse me, random person, could you solve this for me? <laughs> Apparently. I don't know. Alright, so now we're in New Orleans. Well. As soon as we find a hotel, and... we shall send for our bags. I took care to leave nothing of value on board. Right. Everything is safe and secure right here. I right. even have a rough map of the city. As you can see, Holmes, I prepared for every possibility. Hmm. And here uh, we are in, we're in the new classic world. Sherlock Holmes hat. A whole continent ready to welcome us with open arms. It is pretty. This is not invigorating Holmes. Think of the challenge that lies ahead. Indeed, Watson, mm -hmm. but let me remind you that we have few clues and time is not our ally, and countless lives rely upon our success. You are right, Holmes. Perhaps we should secure some local currency with our bills of exchange. Mm -hmm. At the present, we have but a few dollars at our disposal. Yeah. Well, I'm going to actually stop here now, guys. Yep. All right. Well, anyway, um, I hope you're enjoying my Let's Play of Sherlock Holmes The Awaken. I am your point and credit gamer. Uh, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next part. See you later, everyone.